Yeah, I was I was glad we had a little bit of break there uh, coming off of our Ferris and then Drury Lindenwood trip. I think we had uh, a ton to learn from those games. Uh, so it, it was good to have a little bit of downtime. I think hopefully, like you said, refresh, uh, kind of regroup, uh, get our minds right moving forward here uh, into conference play. And I'm looking forward to what we learn and what we take from those games. Uh, I think we kind of got away from doing the little things, which is ultimately on me, uh, on both ends of the floor. Defensively, uh, just that urgency, staying a stance off the ball uh, and flying around a bit to take away high percentage shots. So that's what we've been looking at doing the past two weeks here that we got to practice before we get into games, focusing on Michigan Tech defense, what, what we can control. And I'm excited to see how that looks against uh, Parkside, who we have first on Thursday, because they're a phenomenal offensive team. Their movement uh, off the ball, their screening action is really tough to guard. Uh, so I'm really excited to see uh, how we do against that. Uh, and then offensively, uh, just taking our time and letting our offense run a bit, uh, something uh, we just looked at with the film and we've been um, practicing throughout the week as well. So excited to see how players uh, just step up and respond uh, coming off a break. Yeah, we've been able to practice a couple weeks here uh, before moving into the games last week and then all of this week. Uh, and it's really just looked like focusing on machine tech. Haven't really looked at anybody else. Uh, just back to the principles of our defense, the principles of our offense, and doing the little things each possession. Uh, that's why we were successful at the start of the season. Uh, and then kind of toward the end before break. Uh, we, we just weren't practicing those little things as much. We didn't get a ton of practice time. We had a ton of games uh, to start conference and then we were on the road. So it was good to, to have that time and, and get back to the little things. Yeah. Our biggest point of emphasis is taking away the high percentage shots. So the shots deep in the paint, which were undersized this year. We got some people out. Uh, so taking away deep shots in the paint and then taking away rhythm threes. Uh, and we do that by communicating. Defense is always, that's such a huge part of it. Uh, communicating through all the screening action, through the weak side interchanges, ball screens, whatever it is. Uh, so a big piece is the communication. And then we've also been looking at, and I think what has hurt is, is our stance off the ball, on the ball pretty good, and then off the ball, we end up standing up a little bit um, and maybe taking a break for a second when that's the last time you can be taking a break. Uh, so that's what we'll be emphasizing uh, on Thursday and in practice the ne next couple days. Nelson can do everything and she makes really tough shots. She creates a ton for them. Anytime she's involved in a screening action, whether she's coming off or she's the one setting the screen, it makes it super difficult because it's hard to help off of her. Uh, you got to chase her and then help off other people. So she just makes them all tough to guard, uh, but overall it's gonna be a team effort in slowing her down. Uh, last year, she scored like 18 and 20 something against us. So hopefully we can keep her under her average at least. Uh, and if she's scoring, it's gotta be those tough shots, tough jumpers, step backs. Uh, where, okay, there's nothing you can do, uh, but if she's going at the rim, we got to see the ball despite all the screening action happening on the weak side, get over there, um, get to help, maybe take some charges. I think offensively it does come down to trusting the system and, and taking the high percentage shots, knowing we, we can't ultimately control if it goes in or not. Sometimes we get really good looks, sometimes we get layups and we're missing those, uh, but if we run our offense, if we uh, one possession at a time, make reads out of screens, keep our spacing, that's big too, that has hurt us the past few games. Um, just being able to stay spaced so we can get some looks at the paint, uh, whether that be on our post entry type of thing or attacking the basket. Uh, but yeah, trusting what we do, keeping that spacing, uh, keeping the ball moving. Uh, I think at times we took some shots early in the shot clock, uh, where we probably could get a better look. Uh, so why not wait until later in the shot clock to take more of that average shot, things we've been discussing and, and working on throughout the week. You've played quite a few non-conference games as of late. Now I can get back into the league schedule. Is there a big difference between opponents or is everybody play tough? 
I think everyone we play is tough. I'm trying to think of any game we have coming up or that we've had where it's, oh yeah, we're just gonna go in and it's gonna be, like that never happens, which is a good thing. It's great uh, every night. You've gotta come ready to play. You've gotta be ready to compete. Uh, you're going against some of the best players. I think the GLIAC is unbelievable. Some of the athletes and, and women's basketball players we have in this conference. Uh, so it's just fun every single night. Uh, you know there's gonna be just big moments from different players, including on our team and other teams. Uh, so always coming ready to play, always coming to compete, regardless of conference or non-conference games.